doody 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 Well, howdy doody and, and why are you, Mr. Smith? Well, hello, howdy doody. Looks kind of happy today, doesn't he? Hi, kids. Hi, kids over here. Come on, let's sing that theme now. You boys and girls at home, you join us. Too. Let's go. Here we go. The last line I want you to sing to, the line that goes, I'm for howdy doody. Let me hear that. Come on. I'm for howdy doody. Watch Clarabella, and here we go. This is Howdy's favorite song, Campaign Week. So come on, let's go. Oh, I'm for Howdy Doody. Are you? Yes, I am. That's the way. Why, I'm for Howdy Doody. He's the finest boy in the land. Oh, I'm for Howdy Doody. Are you? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm for Howdy Doody. Let's all give him a hand. You can look all night, look all day, look from Maine to California. Ask any doctor, lawyer, Indian chief, and they all share the same belief that they're for howdy doody. Are you? Yes, I am. Okay, now. Howdy Doody, how did you like hearing that, little fella? Well, Mr. Smith, that was, oh, it was just wonderful. It's, it's so thrilling when the boys and girls sing my song so loud. Yes, and you should certainly be thrilled, you know. I was talking with Clarabelle before, and you know that the votes are pouring in for you, and I understand that you've been leading Howdy Doody, and we're going to be checking the vote doodle a little later, okay? Oh, wonderful, Mr. Smith. I... Oh, I'm so happy over all of boys and girls' votes. So, for what, sir? Listen. The voice of Mr. X. Mr. X, listen. The election is close, and I still expect to win. Listen. But no matter who wins, you will see me election night when I will positively appear on the Howdy Doody Show. Be here. That's, that's now, I would be interested in knowing what you think I look like. Please fill out the X chart, and I will tell you later if you are right or wrong. Oh, this must be the X chart, Howdy Doody. Age, weight, height, color of hair, mustache, birthplace, fat or thin, color of eyes. Howdy, is it all right with you if the boys and girls in the peanut gallery and if we fill this in okay? Well, I guess so. Maybe it'd help us if... If we knew what that old Mr. X looked like, Mr. Smith. All right, come on, kids. Look, this is a chart that Mr. X left here. Now, what he wants us all to do, and I think it's a good idea because then we'll get an idea as to what you kids think he looks like. Sonny, would you sit over just a little bit? That's the way. And I'm going to hold this little girl on my lap. Now, Clarabelle, will you uh, work with the card there? Now, the age. Uh, how old do you think Mr. X is? Somebody raise your hand. But how about this little girl? Stand up, please. How old do you think Mr. X is? 63. About 63. <laughs> oh, she thinks she's old. Oh, what is, what's your name, little girl? Kathleen. Kathleen. All right. You put down 63 there, Clarabelle. Now, what is the next line there? Uh, the weight. Uh, how, how about this young lady? Would you stand, please, right here? H how much do you think he weighs? Well, I think about 600 pounds. 600 pounds. Oh, my gosh, he'd be an awful fatty, wouldn't he? All right, you put down 600 pounds there. Now, let me see. What is the next one there? Uh, excuse me, Clarabelle. Get out of the way. The height. Uh, how tall do you think Mr. X is? Ha how about this little fellow? What's your name? Bobby Condon. Bobby Condon. How, how tall do you think? Six feet tall. Well, that'd be a good height. All right, you put down six feet tall. Now, uh, who would have an idea as to the color of Mr. X's hair? How about, the, how about this little fellow? What's your name, Sonny? Norm. Normie. Normie. Uh, Normie, what color hair do you think Mr. X has? Brown. Brown? How about somebody else? Anybody else have any uh, other ideas? What do you think, Bobby? Um, gray. You think it's gray? Anybody else have a, How about this little fellow? What do you think? Red. Red. Oh, my heavens. Wouldn't he look like Clarabelle? <laughs> How about this little girl here? What? Black. You think it's black. Did some of you think it's black? I think it might be black. Too. Let's just put down black there, Clarabelle, would you please? That's the way. All right, now what's next? Uh, mustache. Yes or no? How many think he has a mustache? Say yes. Let me hear you. Yes! Yeah! How many don't think he does? Oh, everybody thinks he has a mustache. All right, you put down uh, uh, yes for a mustache. 
Now, birthplace. Where do you think Mr. X was born? Anybody have any idea? How about um, this little girl right here? Sister, you stand up, would you, honey? What's your name? Joyce. All right, Joyce. Uh, where do you think Mr. X was born? New York. In New York? Well, if she thinks so, Clarabelle, we put it down because what we want to do, kids, is try to get what you think Mr. X looks like and what he is like. Now, let me see. Uh, fat or thin? What do you think? Fat! Oh, you all say fat. All right, put down fat. <laughs> and what color eyes? Now, what color eyes? How about this young lady? What's your name? Brown. All right, Marilyn, what color eyes? Brown. Brown eyes with the black hair. Well... Clarabelle, you shouldn't walk on the piano now, Clarabelle. Oh, those big feet that Clarabelle has. Oh, Clarabelle Seinfeld. All right, color of eyes you think is brown, okay? You put that down. Now, identity, who knows what that means? Well, it means, uh, I guess, actually, we can't fill anything in yet. It means that Mr. X might be me, or it might be Clarabelle, or it might be this little girl. Or it might be this little girl, of course, we know that it isn't. But the identity would mean to put down just who oh, we yeah. think Mr. X is. Of course, we don't know that, so we can't fill it out. Well, I think that's just about all we can do there. Uh, howdy doody, uh, is, is this okay now? The kids have made out their sheet. Anything more you want to do, little fella? Well, I tell you, Mr. Smith, I tell you what I think we better do. Why, why don't we dress up some little fella and... And then we'll get an idea of, of what he'll look like, okay? Oh, I see what Howdy Doody wants to do. He wants to dress up somebody so that they look like... How about Bobby? Would you come out here? I'm going to ask Bobby Condon to come out. And Clarabelle, do you think that uh, maybe you and I could dress up Bobby so that Bobby would look like all the things the kids put on the chart? Now, age 63. How are we going to make Bobby look like he's 63 years old? Howdy, how could we do that, little fella? Oh, we're going to need some help from the flat doodle, Mr. Smith. Uh, you pull it out of the wall, and I'll, I'll see if we can get some things, okay? All right, and Clarabelle, meantime, maybe you can get a few things for us, too, okay? All right, come on, Howdy, this will be fun, and then we'll maybe get an idea of what that old Mr. Rex looks like. You tell the flat doodle what you want there, Howdy. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, Mr. Flat Doodle, we're, we're going to try to dress up little Bobby Condon here with with a lot of stuff that the kids think that Mr. Rex looks like, so so give us a little help out, would you please? Okay, Howdy, now I gotta wind the crank here, you know. There we are, one more. There. All right, now let's see what... Oh, look at all this stuff that we got here. Oh, isn't that flap doodle good to us? Well, let's see what we've got here. Uh... <laughs> we got a wig. Well, we got a mustache. All right, now, uh, Clarabelle, the first thing it says, uh, age 63 years old. So I, I think that's probably why we got the mustache, huh? Well, let's put that on, Bobby. There. There. Now, now we got the age. Now, the weight, 600. Oh, oh you got a pillow to put it. Well, that won't make it 600, but it'll help. All right, Clarabelle, here's the belt. Can you wind that around there? Now, what did they say? Height, six feet. Well, you're never six feet, are you, Bobby? Well, maybe we better uh, we better get this bench here, and uh, maybe we can stand Bobby up on the bench. There we go. That's the now. Now he's uh, a little more than six feet, but that's better. Color of hair black. Oh, here we'll put this wig on. Oh, let me see. Uh, there. There. Now let me see. What else does it say? Uh, mustache. Yes, we got a mustache on him. Birthplace, New York. We can't do anything about that. Fat, we got the fat on. Color, brown. Now, how, uh, let's see, we'll put my hat on here. Now, do you think that looks like Mr. X, kids? No, 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 let's, let's see you. You look right there and see you. Now, do you think that looks like Mr. X? I don't know. Howdy doody, do you think that looks like Mr. X? Well, Howdy doesn't have anything to say here. <laughs> This is the voice of Mr. X. I have seen what the children think I look like. You are all wrong. I look entirely different. You will see me election night. Also, I was not born in the place you guessed. I was born in the biggest state in the country. Well, for heaven's sakes, how about that? 
Well, I guess we're all wrong, Clarabelle. Well, Bobby, thank you very much for helping us. And uh, says that he doesn't look anything like that. He tried. Yeah, we certainly did try, didn't we? Oh, dear. Well, now, Bob, I'll tell you what else I think we ought to do here. Let me see. Mr. X just said that he wasn't born in the state that we mentioned. That was New York. Where did he say he was born? The biggest state in the country. Let's make that the peanut puzzle. How about it, Howdy Doody? Could we do that? Oh, a good idea, Mr. Smith. Suppose you tell the kids about it, and, and then we'll get a movie here going, okay? All right, then, kids. Look, for your peanut puzzle, we want you to put down your name and your age and what state you think Mr. X is from. And don't tell anybody what your answer is, okay? All right. In the meantime, Bobby, thank you so very much. And uh, what do we have here? An ice hockey game for you for being our Mr. X model, okay? All right. Thank you, Bobby. Clarabelle, would you like to uh, take out the scope doodle? Because I want to go over here and tell all the kids about the movie, okay? All right. Well, kids, remember we saw part one of the movie? And we're going to see part two of it right now. Clarabelle's over there turning the lights down and turning on the scope doodle. And here we have the Howdy Doody old time movie. Now, if you remember, kids, when we left part one of uh, Jones's Baby, that's the name of the, the movie, Mr. and Mrs. Jones had gone to the movies. And they had left their little baby, Bobby. Remember little Bobby? Remember the sweet little girl? Well, they left little Bobby with Mrs. Jo Mrs. Jones' mommy, with the mother-in-law. And Mrs. Jones was very uneasy in the movies. Oh, she was worried about little Bobby, and she had Mr. Jones call home several times to see if Bobby was okay. And so as we pick them up here in the movies, we see that Mr. and Mrs. Jones are still in the movies. And the fire engines are passing by outside of the movies. So Mrs. Jones thinks the house may be on fire, so Jonesy calls his mother-in-law again. And the mother-in-law says, everything is fine. No, no, don't worry about us. We're fine here. So Jonesy tries to find his seat in the movies again. So here they're all back in the movies again. And remember, kids, that the faucet was leaking? The water was running all over? And who did they call to fix the faucet? Grandpa, that's right. Grandpa came over last night to fix the faucet. So now here the film is broken in the movies. And it says one moment while we fix the film. So everybody has to sit there in the movie while the film is broken. And it says only 370 days to do your Christmas shopping at Solomon's. <laughs> A little advertisement there. Oh, and here's that movie again. Oh, and it's going backwards. Remember Liza in Uncle Tom's cabin and those ice cubes? Oh, those are the biggest ice cubes I ever saw. Biggest ice cubes I ever saw in my life. And what do we have here? Oh, this is Grandpa now watching little Bobby. See, the fellas are playing cards. And here's Grandma singing a lullaby to the baby. And here the fellas, I guess, have lost some of their cards. I guess little Bobby sneaked some of them. <laughs> Isn't that a big dog? Do you have a big dog, little girl? Do you have a dog? What's your little doggy's name? Poochie. Poochie, uh -huh. What's your name? Molly. Hello, Molly. I'll get... So they're singing, Roll on, silvery moon. Can you sing that, Molly? No. Just sing a little bit of it. Roll on, silvery moon. Can you sing it? No. Oh. Okay. Three fellas are having such a good time. Now, they're, what are they singing now? Sweet Adeline, that's right. And the dog is trying to sing it. Is Poochie singing, Molly? That is. What does he do? Jump. Jumps and eats, huh? Does he like to eat? Yes. Yes. Do you ever take him out for walks? Yes. Do you like him? 
Yeah. Oh, that's good. And so, mother-in-law has finally put the baby in the crib. <gasps> and look, kids, they still didn't fix that water faucet. And the water is pouring into little Bobby's room. And these fellas should have been fixing the, the faucet. So here's Jones and his wife in the theater. And so they decide to leave. And the whole row gets up to let him out. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, now Jonesy forgot his hat. So he calls for a hat and everybody throws him his hat. <laughs> so the water is filling up in Bobby's room and finally Jonesy and his wife return home. Mother-in-law says, everything's fine, everything's fine. So here's little Bobby. Oh my heavens, this could be terrible. So they all sit down to play cards. They don't know about the, the water faucet running in little Bobby's room. So the dog is trying to tell Jonesy that he should hurry into Bobby's room, that there's a lot of water running in there from the faucet overflowing. But Jonesy doesn't believe the dog has any important message. He just thinks he wants to bother him. Finally, the dog takes this big plank, this big board. Look, isn't that a smart doggy, huh? Yeah. So the doggy brings the plank in. Oh, I hope little Bobby makes it. Oh, kids, you think she'll make it? Yeah. I hope she will. Yeah. Oops, don't fall, Bobby. Don't fall, Bobby. <laughs> Just made it. And so Mrs. Jones, oh, she comes in and she discovers that there's water there and there's no baby. Oh, and she's just frantic. She calls her husband and now everybody rushes in. Poor fatty grandma couldn't get through the door. She was such a big fatty old grandma. And finally Jones says, I'll go in and find my baby. He's a hero, isn't he? So he jumps in the water. <laughs> and he gets his foot caught in the radiator. <laughs> Do you see, Molly? Where's his foot, honey? Yeah, in the radiator. How about that? So Bobby and the dog are having a wonderful time playing in the garage. That's a howdy doody balloon that they've got there. So there's poor Jonesy, and the men get a plank to try to rescue Jonesy. And so here's Mrs. Jones and everybody, and they're trying to chop down the outside door. Why do they want to chop the door down, kids? So the water will come out, that's right. So finally, all the water comes out of the garage. And the radiator comes out. And Josie comes out, too. <laughs> And mother has to faint a little bit. And the doggy and little Bobby are playing and having a wonderful time. And Jonesy comes back and he says, everything is all right. The dog saved little Bobby. So they give the doggy a great big beefsteak bone for Christmas. Wasn't that cute, kids, huh? Oh, that was great. Well, Clarabelle, thank you so much for showing that to us. Howdy Doody, we thought that was a, a great, great movie, and... 
Well, Clarabelle, do you mean we have this many winners? Susan and Norman and and Joyce and Ralph and and Stephanie. Everybody knew that it was Texas. Well, it looks like Texas is the home of Mr. X, and that's where he was born, probably, because he has that X in his name. So I'll tell you what you do. Clarabelle, you see that every one of the kids in the gallery get a nice present for getting our peanut puzzle. Maybe a nice big lollipop after the program, okay? All right, fine. Well, howdy doody, we figured out a lot of things. Uh, how do you feel about the election now, howdy? Is there anything you want us to know about? Well, I certainly wish, Mr. Smith, that, that you'd tell all the boys and girls about the vote doodle and tell them how to vote and... And let's see what the votes are for today, okay? All right, come on, Clarabelle. You get over here. And, uh, kids, this is Howdy Doody's vote doodle. Have you seen it? Yeah. Now, you get it all set here because I'm anxious to know if Howdy Doody is still leading Mr. X. Now, uh, you turn it on there, Clarabelle. You got the switch? There, that should turn it on. Now, here we have vote. Presidential election returns counted to date. Mr. X, 64,129 votes. That's a lot of votes. Mr. X, 64,129 votes. Now, let's see what Howdy has. Don't worry, Howdy Doody. Howdy Doody. Oh, 406,620 kids. Hey! 406,000, little fella. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Clarabelle? Let's see what else it says now here. Send your... Postcard vote today to. Now, kids, I want you to all make sure of this. Now, this is the last chance that you have to vote. Just the end of this week, and all the votes must be in. So you send those postcard votes to Howdy Doody, and then it's Box 333, Box 333, and then it's New York 19, New York. Now, come on, all of you kids, get in there and vote, will you? You gotta send him to Howdy Doody, Box 333, New York 19, New York, on the back of a postcard, and put down just as many votes as you have for Howdy Doody. If there's 10 in your family, put all 10 down. But make sure that those votes get out, huh? Because it says right here, look, it says vote. 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 We gotta vote, don't we? And Mr. X is good for you. Listen, listen. This is the voice of Mr. X. Howdy doody, you look tired. You have put up a great fight in this campaign, but you now look tired. Therefore, I am giving to you, as a gift, free of charge, a very nice, comfortable chair. You may sit down on it and rest. Take it easy, son. You deserve the rest. Clarabelle, what do you think of that? Mr. X giving Howdy Doody a chair. Did, did you see a chair around here? Uh, it, it, look, the kids, uh, Mr. X said he's giving Howdy a chair. I, uh, I don't see anything. Uh, uh, Howdy Doody, do you see anything? Why, I... Oh, come over here, Mr. Smith. I, I think there's something under here. H hurry! Let me see. Uh, Clarabelle, look. Well, isn't that a sweet little chair? Well, do you think that Mr. X has a change of heart? Well, howdy doody, what do you think of Mr. X giving you a chair? Well, I can't understand it, Mr. Smith. It, it certainly sounds like a trick to me. Well, don't sit in it, howdy. Let's, let's wait. Let's look to make sure that everything's all right. Because you know that Mr. X, he'd probably give you an old, nasty, old, weak old chair. And you'd sit in it and it'd fall apart. Looks all right to me. How does it look over there, Howdy? Well, it looks perfectly all right. Well, I can't understand it, Mr. Smith. Maybe, well, maybe he feels that he's going to come on the program on Election Day, and, well, maybe he feels that, well, we're going to let bygones be bygones, and, and maybe we're going to be pals. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all, Mr. Smith. Well, come on, then you sit down and try it here, Howdy, because, gee, I just hope everything's all right. There, how, how does it feel, Howdy? How does it feel? Do it, you think it's going to fall? Well, it feels... Well, it's a nice little chair, Mr. Smith. It's, it's pretty good, oh boy, oh boy. Well, now, look, uh, I can't understand it. Can you, Clarabelle? Why would... Well, now, look, Howdy, you, you can't uh, sit in the chair too long because, come on, the kids have just a few more days to vote, and, and, and even though you are a little bit tired, 
I don't think you should sit in the chair too long. Come on, Howdy, let's get up and do something. What do you, what do you think we better do? Well, I don't know, Mr. Smith. Whatever you, uh, whatever you think <laughs> I ought to do, I'd be very happy. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Mr. Smith? <laughs> Howdy Doody, it was a trick. Oh! Do you know that Mr. X put a, a, a sign on that chair, and when you sat on it, it stuck to the seat of your pants? And there's a big X back here, and every time you walk around, you'll be getting votes for Mr. X. Do you know that, Howdy Doody? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't see him, Mr. Smith. I, oh, I take it off. Come on, that old nasty one. Come on, Clarabelle, let's take it off. And <laughs> Come on, we'll sing. Howdy Doody. All right, Howdy Doody. Isn't that a nasty trick to do? Come on. Kids, that nasty old Mr. X pulling that old trick on me. Well, come on, kids, we'll make them, make them mad and, and unhappy. And, and what do you think we better do, Howdy? Have all the kids to send the votes to you, don't you think so, little fella? Huh? Well, yes, sir, Mr. Smith. You, you send the votes, kids, to, to Box 333, New York 19, New York. And that's Howdy Doody. And, and let's sing that theme, Mr. Smith, okay? All right, come on, kids. So come on, let's say, so long, everybody. Howdy Doody. Well, so long, Mr. Smith. And kids, remember to vote for Howdy Doody. And portions of the Howdy Doody show have been electrically transcribed. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you.